Did you know that walking at home and doing chores can contribute to your healthy habits? Picture this. You're taking a leisurely stroll around your home, or perhaps you're scrubbing the dishes, sweeping the floor, or tidying up the living room. It might not feel like it, but these simple everyday tasks are more than just mundane responsibilities. They're opportunities for exercise. Just think about it. Every step you take, every move you make, it all adds up. These activities, often taken for granted, can significantly contribute to your overall health and wellness. The beauty of it all? No need for fancy gym equipment or expensive memberships. All you need is your home, your tasks, and you. So next time you have some chores to do or simply decide to walk around your house, remember, you're not just cleaning or moving around aimlessly, you're working towards a healthier you. But how exactly does walking benefit us? What's the science behind it all? Walking, a simple and universally accessible form of exercise, holds the potential to promote our overall health in numerous ways, both directly and indirectly. The benefits of walking, as innocuous as it might seem, are compelling, profound, and far-reaching. Firstly, think of walking as a trigger setting off a chain reaction within our bodies, a sequence of beneficial physiological processes that are integral to maintaining our health and well-being. The moment we begin moving, our heart rate starts to increase. This is not merely because we're exerting physical effort. It's also because our bodies need to pump more blood to the muscles to keep them functioning. Basically, our heart is compelled to work harder, which in turn helps to strengthen at time, reducing the risk of heart disease and other cardiovascular complications. As our heart rate escalates, our blood circulation also improves. This improvement is crucial because our blood is responsible for delivering oxygen and essential nutrients to our cells. The more efficiently our blood circulates, the more more oxygen and nutrients can reach our cells, resulting in enhanced cellular function, increased energy levels, and improved overall health. But the benefits of walking don't stop there. As we walk, we also burn calories. Our bodies require energy to move, and that energy comes from breaking down the calories we consume. The more frequently and the longer we walk, the more calories we burn. Over time, this can contribute significantly to weight management and weight loss. Moreover, let's not forget about our lungs, which play a pivotal role in this physiological process. As we walk, our lungs work harder to meet the increased demand for oxygen. This heightened lung capacity aids in expelling more carbon dioxide, the byproduct of cellular respiration, from our bodies, enhancing our respiratory health. Continuing on the subject of an active lifestyle, let's turn our attention to household chores. Despite seeming mundane and boring, Chores can provide a surprising boost to our health in many ways. Activities like sweeping, mopping, dishwashing, or even doing laundry can enhance our flexibility, improve our strength, and build our endurance. These physical activities require a range of movements that engage different muscle groups, thereby keeping our bodies in a state of motion, active, fit, and agile. It's fascinating, isn't it? Something as simple as walking or doing chores can trigger such complex and beneficial processes in our bodies. So remember, each time you decide to go for a walk or get your hands dirty with household chores, you're not just accomplishing tasks on your to-do list, you're actively contributing to your health and well-being. Ever wondered how many steps you need to take in a day to lose weight? The answer might surprise you. Let's pull back the curtain on one of the simplest yet most effective ways to shed those extra pounds. Walking. You've probably heard of the 10,000 steps a day mantra, but have you ever wondered what it means or where it came from? This concept originated in Japan in the mid 20th century and quickly gained popularity worldwide as a straightforward way to stay active. So how does this translate to weight loss? Let's break it down. Walking 10,000 steps a day can burn around 500 calories. Now, if you maintain this routine consistently, it can lead to a calorie deficit. And what's a calorie deficit? You might ask. It's when you burn more calories than you consume. Here's where the magic happens. A calorie deficit of around 3,500 calories is equivalent to losing one pound of body weight. So by burning approximately 500 calories a day, you could potentially lose one pound a week. That's right, four pounds a month just by walking. But wait, there's more. Walking isn't just about losing weight. It's a low impact exercise that's easy on your joints and can be done by almost anyone, anywhere, at any time. It strengthens your heart, boosts your mood, and even helps you sleep better. And let's not forget about chores. Yes, you heard it right. Doing your everyday household tasks can add to your step count. So next time you're vacuuming the living room or mowing the lawn, remember, every step counts. The beauty of walking lies in its simplicity. It's a form of exercise that seamlessly blends into your daily routine, making it sustainable in the long run. 
That's right, just by walking more and doing your chores, you could be on your way to achieving your weight loss goals, so tie up those laces, take that extra step and walk your way to a healthier, happier you. Now, let's talk about fasting. Did you know that walking is one of the best exercises you can do while you're fasting? Yes, that's right. Fasting, when paired with walking, can amplify the benefits of both, creating a synergy that can aid in weight loss, improve digestion, boost mental clarity, and increase energy levels. Let's start with weight loss. When you're fasting, your body switches its energy source from glucose to stored fat. Now when you walk, you're burning calories. Put the two together and you've got a potent fat-burning combination. You're not just burning calories, you're burning fat. That's a win-win in anyone's book. But the benefits don't stop there. Walking during fasting can also improve digestion. A leisurely post-meal stroll can aid in digestion by stimulating the muscles in your gastrointestinal tract. This helps move food along and reduces the likelihood of bloating and discomfort. Plus, walking while fasting can give your digestive system a much-needed break, allowing it to reset and function more efficiently. What about mental clarity? Fasting has been linked to improved mental clarity and focus, and walking can enhance this effect. Walking increases blood circulation to the brain, which can help improve cognitive function. So the next time you're fasting and feel a foggy brain coming on, try going for a walk. You might find that the fog lifts and you're able to think more clearly. And let's not forget energy levels. While it might seem counterintuitive, walking while fasting can actually boost your energy levels. When you're fasting, your body is forced to become more efficient at using energy. Combine this with the natural energy boost that comes from physical activity, and you've got a recipe for feeling more energized and alert. So whether you're fast-paced or slow-paced, remember that every step counts. Here's to taking strides towards a healthier and happier you. Watch our other videos about fasting. If you are interested, please click the videos on the screen. Thanks for joining us on Wellness Pulse. Remember, wellness isn't just about workouts. Simple activities like walking at home or doing chores contribute to a healthy lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more wellness tips, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a pulse quickening update. Keep moving, stay active, and embrace a well-balanced life. Until next time, take care of your body, mind, and soul. This is Wellness Pulse, signing off.